me for part two of Get to Know Me. Okay, the next question is, do I believe in ghosts? Okay, this is funny because I would have said no in the past until I'm convinced now that we used to live with one. Um, a lot of weird things used to happen in this apartment that we used to live in and it really can't be explained. Okay, well, I guess I'll just tell you one since I'm trying to say I believe in ghosts. <laughs> um, you know the, the door stoppers on the back of doors that are there to stop the door from hitting the wall? And it's like a little thing with coils on it and it, it goes like if you accidentally hit it, it, it bangs really loud. But they're really like stiff, like they're hard to make do that unless you really kick it. So one day I was in our apartment and I was alone when Logan was a baby. I was downstairs feeding him and I heard someone kick the back of the doorstop, the rubber thing, and I heard the and I was like, what the F, you know? I, I was scared because I was home alone and um, I was thinking, there's like no win there's like no way somebody could have climbed up the outside of this apartment to get in upstairs, like if someone would break in or whatever, and I was like, there's no way. So of course I do the scary movie thing, I'm gonna go investigate, like Scooby-Doo, like a stupid ass, it's part of my French. So I go investigate and there's nothing there. So I'm like, we have a ghost. And then, and we had no pets at that time, so there was nobody could have kicked it or hurt, whatever. Nothing could have happened. That's the only explanation. And then, but there's many other things that happened. Um, and that happened twice, because Luis didn't believe me that it happened. And then one day he was standing at the top of the stairs, you could see down into the living room. And he was standing there and we were talking and there was a bathroom next to him and there was one of those behind the bathroom door. And he, like I said, he didn't believe me that this had happened to me. And then it happened again, right, right in the bathroom next to him. And he came bolting down the stairs so fast. He was so terrified and um, can't explain that. And then there was some other things, but I'm not gonna tell you everything cause it'll take forever. Okay, the next question is, do you believe in aliens? Yes, absolutely, I believe in aliens because the universe is like limitless and there's no way I could say that 10 million light years away there's not another planet somewhere that has alien life. And um, so we're aliens too because wherever there's another planet with life, they're thinking of us as aliens. So do I believe in soulmates? I don't know. I used to think I believed in soulmates, but now I kind of think you could because I see people, you know, get divorced or get their partner dies or whatever and they move on and they seem just as happy with the next person. So I think that you can have multiple kind of soulmate type people in life. Like you can match up with different people and live happily ever after without them being your soulmate. Like, I don't know. Do I believe in heaven and hell? Kind of. Like, I think that... Uh, if you're a positive person and you have positive energy, that when you die, you go into the positive flow of energy, which is the energy of creation. And if you're a negative person and you do bad negative things in your life, you're going to go into the neg like kind of like getting yang. There's negative and there's positive. You're going to go into the negative energy of life, which is kind of like got to be like a hell, pretty much. And um, you're going to be living in the negative. Your soul will be in the negative energy for the rest of eternity until maybe you get reborn. Because I believe in reincarnation too. So anyway, we shouldn't be talking about religion. It gets too complicated with people fighting over that crap. So kissing on the first date. I have no idea. I've never really dated anyone. Like date, date, like someone's never asked me on a date and whatever. I've always ended up being with people that are like my friends. So if you want to kiss on the first date, you go right ahead. I probably would not have, but I don't know because I never really dated per se. Do I believe in myself? That's a good question. Sometimes. Depends on the day, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes I have confidence and feel pretty good about myself. And some days I'm really low and I have no confidence in myself. I think that's normal. People have their ups and downs. And you, know, you should try to believe in yourself. You know, I try to believe in myself. Um, it's a daily... Oh, there's a bug. There's a daily process to learn how to do that. It takes time. So, anyway... That was all of the questions. That was the end of that. And um, I think there's other tag videos. So I might do another one later to tell you, answer different questions for you guys.
So if anybody wants to do this, you can just take the questions and answer them. I'm too lazy to type them all out in the description for you. So <laughs> if you want to do this, just go back and write down what I answered as I went. <laughs> or you can go to the Veggie Nut, Shannon Lee, and watch her video. It's called TAG, capital T-A-G, and then it'll say, uh, like, I forgot what it was, like, get to know me, I think. And she has all the questions listed in her description. Um, all right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think, and we'll make another video some other time. Oh, well, I forgot to answer the question about, like, favorite bands, favorite songs. So, well, I'll start with favorite songs, <laughs> because I like so much different kinds of music that it's really hard to just pick a favorite song, like a current favorite song or all-time favorite song. So what I do is, when someone asks me that, I just say, well, since I love so much music, I'm going to pick. I'm just going to pick the very first song that I remember as a kid being my favorite song. And some of you are probably going to laugh. So when people ask me, I tell them that my favorite song is If It Isn't Love by New Edition. Because I used to absolutely love that. I still love that song. I still love it. And But when I was a kid, I used to listen to it over and over and over and over. And we used to have a TV when we'd hang out at the bowling alley in the arcade area. There was a like a TV and they used to play MTV music videos and that one used to come on all the time and I just would sit there and I could watch it all day if it kept playing because I just love it. So I just say that's my favorite song. And as for like favorite bands, my favorite band is Our Lady Peace. It's a Canadian band. Most people who ask me have no idea who they are, but if you do, you're awesome. Um, my other favorite bands are Goldfinger, Less Than Jake, Newfound Glory, Fallout Boy, um, Green Day, Offspring, I don't know, Nirvana, and then I like like Garth Brooks and Faith Hill and Shania Twain and Jody Messina and George Strait and there's just so much good music in the world, the Beach Boys. The Beatles, um, any kind of like old doo wop like um, the Temptations, the Penguins, stuff like that. I like everything, like um, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Easy. There's, there's just so much variety. Like it's good to be. I don't like everything. I'm not going to say I like techno, really, unless it has words, like Cruella is okay, but I really don't like techno unless it has lyrics. Um, I'm not too big on rap anymore. When I was younger, I liked early like 90s rap, like Dr. Dre and the Snoop Dogg and stuff. I like that stuff, but I don't really like anything current that's like rap or hip hop. But I do like R&B, and um, I like a little bit of everything, pretty much, for the most part. And so that's it. Uh, I think that was the only question I forgot to answer. So, catch you later. Please like this video and subscribe and tell your friends and please share my video so I can get more subscribers. Yeah, please help me out. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> oh, I'm still sleepy. Oh, I was dreaming fruity goodness. <laughs> I was coming up with ideas in my dreams. <laughs> So I thought I'd share with you guys. When I woke up, I was dreaming about um, taking an ice cube tray and like dicing up strawberries and sticking it in there with maybe some blueberries and pouring like oolong tea over the top of it and freezing it for to add to like a lemonade, like a or water or something. <laughs> So I think I'm going to do that because I've been planning on getting some oolong tea ever since, uh, you know, Tanya mentioned that in one of her videos. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Anyway, good morning. I'm still really sleepy. I gotta wake up. So. <laughs> Following your heart